My dear brothers and sisters, another blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the blessing of children. And it is a blessing that comes with a responsibility. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqullah Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu Qū anfusakum wa ahlikum nara O you who believe Save yourselves and your families from a fire Waqūduha al-nāsu wal-hijāra that is made of men and stones our families, our wives, our children are a responsibility on our shoulders. Fulfilling this responsibility does not mean only to make a living and to provide for them. It doesn't mean only to give them a shelter. It doesn't mean only to put food on the table. But what is more important than that? is to give them the tarbiyah that they need, especially in this day and age. This responsibility lies on whose shoulders? On the parents. Not on the masjid, like some of us think. We'll send our children to weekend school. They'll be taken care of. And the rest of the time, they're at home or they're outside. And we don't care. This is the unfortunate reality that we see today. That our parents are neglectful of this duty. And when does it hit them? When it's too late. When the children have become teenagers and they're adults. And now they're out of our control. And they're out there in the dunya. And they're doing all kinds of stuff. And then we come to the masjid, complaining to the imam, take care of my teenager. This responsibility is a responsibility that many have become neglectful of. The Prophet wasallam said, كُلُّكُمْ رَاعٍ وَكُلُّكُمْ مَسْؤُولٌ عَنْ رَعِيَّتِهِ That each and every single one of you has a responsibility on his shoulders. And each and every single one of you will be questioned about that responsibility, meaning before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment. And among the people he mentioned, وَالرَّجُلُ رَاعٍ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ بَيْتِهِ وَهُوَ مَسْؤُولٌ عَنْ رَعِيَّتِهِ The man is responsible for his family and he will be questioned about that responsibility. And the woman, the wife, she is responsible for those in her household, her children, and she will be questioned about that responsibility. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a responsibility that we need to take seriously. Especially now, if our children are young, don't neglect this duty. Ibn Qayyim, he has a profound statement. And his words, they sound as if he's speaking today. He says, Whoever neglects teaching his child what benefits him and he leaves him, he neglects his child, then he has done him great injustice. The corruption of most children has only come from their parents. Ponder over these words. He's saying that the evil of the children when they grow up, it doesn't come from society. It doesn't come from their friends, from those around them. No, it comes from their parents. Not because their parents were evil, 
but because their parents neglected their duty of giving them the tarbiyah. He says, the corruption of most children has only come from the parents and their neglect of them, not teaching them the fundamentals of their deen. They neglected them when they were young, not benefiting themselves, nor benefiting their parents when they became older. If you're complaining about your children when they have become teenagers or they have become adults and they're not taking care of you in your old age, then don't blame anybody but yourself and ask yourself, how did you raise your children when they were young? And so many parents have neglected their duty to their children, this ni'mah, this blessing that Allah had blessed them with. And it came to hit them in their old age. And so let this summer holiday be a time for you to watch over your children. Give them something beneficial to do, either for their dunya or for their deen. And keep an eye on them. And don't let them to be out of your control. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our children and to make them our qurratu ayn, to make them the delight of our eyes.